Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create catalogs, schemas and tables in the Unity catalog. So I hope you have been watching my previous three videos on the Unity catalog and this video is in continuation to the previous videos and we will see how we can actually manage your catalogs, the schemas and the tables. So without any further ado, let's move on to the portal and see how we can do that. So we have a sample notebook to do this. Now, if you go to the data explorer tab on the left hand side, you will actually see that this is the catalog that we created in our previous video. We created this catalog, we created this schema. Right now, if you want to create this catalog and schema through maybe the SQL statements, the you know Python statements, how we can do that, this is what we are going to see. But before moving on there, you already know that if you want to create any catalogs, if you want to create any schemas, you can do it even through the UI. So if I click go to this catalog and if I want to create any schema under it, I can actually click on this create schema, you know, and I can go ahead and create a schema through the UI. Now, Similarly, if I want to create a table, I can create a table through the UI again over here as well. So let's move ahead and see how we can actually do that. So if you see over here, the moment uh, you know I went to the catalog.schema, there is an option to create a sample table. So similarly, you can create it through the UI as well. But now let's see the other version of doing it. So this is a statement, simple SQL statement called as create catalog if not exist quick start catalog. So the moment I run this, you will actually see that my catalog named as quick start catalog gets created here. So now let me do a simple refresh over here to uh, check whether my catalog has been created or not. So now you can see that I do have this quick start catalog created over here. And then you have a default schema and you have the information schema as well inside this quick, quick start catalog. Now, if I want to do any subsequent activities, any subsequent commands, if I want to run inside that particular quick start catalog, I have to give permission to set my current catalog, right? Because there can be multiple catalogs. So even if you see there is a catalog over here and there is a second catalog, now which one to use? So for that, you need to give use catalog a command. So let me run this particular command. And similarly, if you want to see all the catalogs which are present in the environment, we can actually run show catalogs command over here. And then you can see that all your catalogs actually appear over here that you have in this uh, data explorer as well now if you want to grant the privileges you know you can simply use the grant schema grant create schema create table and the use catalog on the catalog catalog name to whichever user or maybe the group to whom you want to give these permissions so right now i'm the only single user so uh, i have given my email id so now you can see i'm granting few privileges so let's say create the schema create the table and use the catalog so there is a hierarchy of privileges that you need to give so catalog is the first level right so you need to give anybody who wants to work inside the catalog they should have a permission to use the catalog so that is why use catalog is mandatory now similarly if you want to if you want someone to you know create the schema inside the catalog then you have to give the create schema privileges if you want someone to use the schema within the catalog then you have to give the use schema privileges now i will have a separate video on uh, you know these uh, access and the hierarchy of these accesses but for now i think this uh, we are good to go and also remember that these privileges you can grant even through this permission tab. so if you go to the permissions over here so right now if you see i just ran this right i ran this create schema create table and use catalog so the moment i ran it now my principal or my user actually got the privileges of create schema create table and use catalog on this object now, if I want to grant it through UI, I can click on this grant privilege over here. I can select the user or whosoever the group is. So right now I am the user. Now, if I want to gr grant all the privileges, for example, I can grant it and the hierarchy, uh, we are going to see it in the next video as well. So if I want to grant, I can simply uh, grant all these privileges. So you can see that all the privileges are granted. So now if I remove if I want to revoke any privilege, I can simply click on these three and I can say, OK, revoke the privileges. So this is how, you know, your permissions can be granted on individual tables, on catalogs, on schemas as well. 
now if if we move ahead right now i can say show grant if i want to see what are the privileges you know uh, have that have been applied to the quick start catalog to the catalog so you can actually see that these are the action types which are nothing but the privileges so now you can see that i have revoked all the accesses i just have all privileges privilege on that particular object so now you can see that it says that okay bhavna bedi 15 at the rate gmail.com has all the privileges on the catalog right now similarly if you want to create a schema how you can do it you can simply say create schema if not exist let's say quick start schema right if you want to provide a comment you can do that now this is simple sql statements so they don't need an explicit uh you know uh, description as such now again if i refresh it you will again see that a schema is created and you already know how to do it manually as well so now you can see you have a quick start schema created over here and you can also see that the comment that you have placed appears over here now you can go ahead and edit the comment as well over here now again if you want to check the permissions you know the permissions you can grant the permissions from here you can revoke the permissions as well from here i have already described about the permissions tab that you can do it through the ui now if you want to again just like we did show catalogs similarly if you want to show the schemas you can show the schemas as well over here now if you want to get extended details of a schema a simple command of describe schema you know and the schema name right this will help you to get the details of that particular schema now what is the catalog name right what, using like the same comment which you saw at the top the same comment is you know you can see it over here who is the owner who created it so things like that the description you can actually see over here now again if you want to drop a schema if you want to drop a catalog you can do it using a simple drop schema command or drop catalog command now again if we move ahead how we can create a table now remember that whatever table we create in unity catalog by default it is a managed table now we are going to you know capture this in a separate video how we can create an external table how we can create a managed table managed table probably you will see it over here but for the external tables we will create a separate video on that and uh, you know the upcoming video so right now remember that whatever table you create by default in a unity catalog that will be a managed table until you explicitly specify the location if you explicitly if you explicitly specify the external location then it becomes an external table right now to create a table you can simply say okay use the schema that i have created i'll just simply run this that use the schema because i want to create the table inside the schema right and i already have the privileges to create a table inside the schema right because i have granted the privileges now to create the table this is a simple you know create table command create table if not exist quick start table and these are my columns and this is my data types and if i want to partition it by some particular column and if i want to insert a value i can do that now let me simply run the cell now the moment i run the cell and in the meantime let me refresh my data explorer as well So you can see that the table has been created. Now I'll kind of have to do a re refresh on this particular schema. And the moment I do a refresh, you will actually see that the table got created within the quick start schema. Now you can see this quick start schema and I have a table called as quick start table. Now, if you see, if you want to see the sample data, we have inserted the two rows into that particular table. You can actually see the sample data over here, column A and the column B. Again, if you go to the permissions, permissions, again, I'm going to cover it in a separate video. The permissions are inherited right now. So whatever permission has been there at the catalog level, the same permission has been passed on till the table. This is what you can see because I had all privileges on the catalog and subsequently when I created the schema, I got all the privileges and similarly when i got created the table i got all the privileges now if i go back over here you can see that this is how we can actually create a managed table now similarly you know just like your catalog and schema if you want to show all the tables which are present inside the schema you can you know simply use the same statement show tables you know or if you want to describe a particular table you want to understand what type of table it is the data types the columns which have been associated to it you know all that information whether it is a managed or 
uh, you know external table this information also you can get over here now all these managed tables now remember that the data and the metadata right this will reside in the container which is which you have specified while creating the meta store now in our previous video you have seen that while creating in the meta store we have created a storage account as well so whatever storage account you used over there that is where the location would be because this is a managed table so details no worries uh, you know if you uh, you know want to go a little more in depth into this concept we are going to have another video as well now remember that if you want to access a particular table you can also do it using the catalog dot schema dot table name so this is the table that we have created now if i do a select star right from the catalog dot schema dot table name this is how you can read it now similarly if you want to write as well to a table you can actually instead of using you know all the multiple commands use catalog use schema and then create the table you can directly call it as catalog dot schema dot table it will directly create the table and similarly if you want to do select operations or you want to write in any queries you can do it using this name itself catalog.schema.table so basically this is the catalog name and then the schema that you are referring and then the table name now similarly if you want to drop a table you can simply use the drop table command drop table name that will actually drop the table so if you let me uncomment this so let me uh, you know if I run this particular command basically my table will be dropped now since it is a managed table both the you know even the data files will be removed when I drop this particular table but when we talk about external table that is not the concept I have already made a separate video on managed tables and external tables you might want to watch that video if you want to clear your concepts on the managed and external tables now similarly you have already seen that if you want to manage any kind of permissions right you can actually you know uh, write it through the sql queries grant specific you know uh, specific privilege you can grant it using the grant command grant the privilege on that particular schema or on that particular table or on that particular uh, catalog to a specific set of users you can do that now similarly if you want to revoke now you have already seen that I can revoke it directly by clicking it over here and then I can click on the revoke command but similarly if you see how we can do it through the SQL query you can we can do it by simply calling a revoke command revoke select on table this from the, any particular XYZ user or the group so even these are very basic commands which you, you can actually use you can script it and you know in your day-to-day -day, uh, workloads this can be utilized if you don't want to do it through the ui so i hope you like this particular video we are going to learn more about the privileges the hierarchy or creating the external tables as well in the unity catalog so i hope you like this particular video and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel